Now in other news, Israeli space tech startup Helios has developed an innovative technology to mine oxygen from lunar soil. Now it plans to test this technology on the moon, joining Japan-based iSpace's missions to the lunar surface. So joining us now with more details on this exciting endeavor is Yafit Ovadia, aerospace correspondent for SeaTech by Kalkalist. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lidar. So first of all, can you explain a little bit how the technology for this mission works? Of course. Well, first of all, oxygen is needed to power launches and refueling rockets for any type of mission in space. So in order to do that, uh, Helios has developed a technology which mines oxygen from the lunar soil, separating it into its two components, oxygen and metal, using the oxygen for the launches while using the metal to build lunar bases. And this would eliminate the need to transport heavy equipment to the moon and would also be cost effective and energy efficient. So quite revolutionary. And I understand mm -hmm. that this is one of a few agreements of a private tech company signing a deal with an Israeli company to bring Israeli tech to space. Mm -hmm. So why did the Japanese you know, sign on this agreement? And, and what exactly does the agreement entail? So this will entail iSpace, a Japanese company, which builds robotic landers. And they will transport the Israeli technology to the moon, meaning that blue and white technology will make a return to the lunar surface long before the next Israeli spacecraft does. And it has two separate missions. One is scheduled for next year, and the next is scheduled for 2023. And what about other countries? I mean, are there any other agreements in the works for Israel or Israeli mm -hmm. companies? Yes, I actually spoke last week with the CEO of STEMRAD, which is an Israeli company that designs anti-radiation vests to protect astronauts in deep space. And he relayed to me that STEMRAD has an ongoing collaboration with U.S. aerospace defense giant Lockheed Martin, as well as with the German Space Agency. So that is very promising, too. So there really does seem to be a major interest in space tech nowadays. I mean, we mm -hmm. just saw the, the Jeff Bezos launch. You know, mm -hmm. is Israel or are Israeli companies sort of at the forefront of these space technologies, would you say? Yes, I believe so. According to a recent report by the Space Investment Quarterly, investments in launch and satellite capabilities over the past decade have grown exponentially and are set to do so for the following decade. Um, Israel definitely has several space tech startups which are entering this sector and doing quite well from trying to create pharmaceuticals in space to generating and creating um, supercomputer chips that power spacecraft. So really the possibilities for space exploration are infinite with Israeli technologies. So going back to Helios, right, why is that sort of a lunar base or settlement beneficial for the commercialized space industry? Well, it's first of all, it's beneficial because space agencies that want to launch humans on a potential mission to Mars or other planets, they would need to refuel. So having a lunar base would definitely be beneficial for them. And so how far are we from actually seeing this technology in action on the moon? Well, the Helios and iSpace collaboration is set to take place in two parts. The first, which is planned for next year, and the second is planned for 2023. So I'd say within the next year or two, we, we will definitely see um, our horizons expanding. Well, exciting stuff. Yafito Vadia from Kalkalis, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you, Lidar.